My parents would despair of me, for I'm not what you call sorted. A few false starts, a jobless stint, and more than one career aborted. I've yet to find my niche, you see, though it's not for want of trying. I've acted, had office jobs and retail roles, and I'm still searching and applying. At 47, you'd think by now that I'd have my shit together. And I did at one time, but then there were some storms I had to weather. So what to do to earn a crust? I've a voice just like a linnet, but unless you're Bieber or Beyonce, then there's just no money in it. <laughs> I've had lots of luck and love in life, but you'd have thought that I'd have sworn to. A vow of poverty, I'm far from rich. No, sadly, money I wasn't born to. I seem predisposed to self-sabotage. My limitation is self-inflicted. I'm an underachieving polymath. You know, I'm actually quite gifted. <laughs> so why then does it seem I'm drawn to jobs you'd say were dead end? I must be mad to carry on. And so I will instead end this treadmill life and follow my heart and be a simple wordsmith and join all the millionaire poets, right? <laughs> it can't all be absurd myth, right? I'll use my skill and aptitude to tread the beaten track of Dylan Thomas, Auden, or even Keats, and not some tired old hack. I'll learn my craft and deftly weave warp, rhythm, and weft meter, and on a precipice of language will my creations teeter. But perhaps I'm being overblown, or indulgent of my ego. So I'll just start. Okay, deep breath, calm thoughts, and one, and two, and three, go. Wait. Is this a poem or just a rhyme? Uh, but then maybe that's my failing. If poems need not rhyme, then I need not find those words for which I'm flailing. So I'll try new forms. A poem need not rhyme so long as scansion and its meter are well-defined and the tone within the verse are sounding sweeter. Damn it, I rhymed again. Have I become a slave unto this rhythm? I need to change perspective and to alter my paradigm. Paradigm, yes, get it. See, it's, it's possible to write rhyme-free if determination's irrepressible, although the simple structure and couplet rhymes do make my poems accessible. So I think the thing is just to write, write on, and not to be enslaved to a specific style or meter, and now I feel the way is paved for me to try a different form and experiment with structure, and maybe it'll rhyme and maybe not. Who can tell at this early juncture? Ah, who am I kidding? It'll probably rhyme, or at the very least maintain a rhythm. But I want my poems to unite us all and not devise or cause a schism. So they're not too deep or woe is me. And I hope they're somewhat entertaining. And I trust that you're enjoying this and it's not just interest that you're feigning. So I'll go and write some more like this and touch upon such themes as the profundity of love and loss and other such extremes. Or I could write about mundanity and the charm that lies within the innocence of a newborn or a toddler's mischievous grin. So I shall leave it there, and thank you all so much for your attentive listening. I'm avail available for do, stag or hen, and although I'm atheist, the odd christening.